Hello everybody, thank you very much for joining me for another Outer Limits Review. Today I will be talking about Season 1, Episode 12 of The Borderland, directed by Leslie Stevens and starring Philip Abbott, Gladys Cooper, Nina Foch, and Peter Mark Richmond. And this is the very definition of an average episode in my opinion. I don't really have strong feelings about it one way or the other. Uh, the plot's okay, the characters are okay. The acting is okay, but uh, nothing ever hits the great level, in my opinion. The episode is interesting enough at times. Uh, for the most part, the episode is uh, pretty watchable, but the, le the episode never really reaches uh, the level of excitement or intrigue it's going for, in my opinion. But, like I said, it's fine overall. So, we start with a scientist, uh, Professor Frazier, and he's working on some kind of invention. We'll find out more about that. And uh, it's a quick scene, and he does something to his hand. So that's a nice attention-getting scene. It was fine. So then we go to a gathering. It's like a seance, and a man named Mr. Hartley is trying to contact uh, his son. And basically, there's a woman, a psychic there, uh, named Mrs. Palmer. And uh, she's exposed by the professor and some others, basically, as a fraud. Uh, they show uh, Mr. Hartley the trick that she's using. But Mrs. Palmer insists that she really has powers. Um, which was kind of interesting, but because there are so many non-believers around, uh, you know, she can't do her job, so she leaves. This leads us to a conversation between Mr. Hartley, um, the professor, and some others who were introduced to, um, a Mr. Russell. We're also introduced to uh, Eva Frazier, who's uh, the professor's wife at this point. So ultimately, the professor explains that he's working on an experiment where he can kind of uh, go into another dimension. This uh, intrigues Hartley, who's convinced uh, to finance this project on the condition that um, if the professor can actually go to another dimension, that he try and contact his son. You can tell Hartley really uh, misses his son a lot and can't get over his death, which is very important to the plot. So an okay setup scene. Like I said, nothing great, nothing terrible in my opinion at this point. So Hartley sets everything up. He gets him a place to uh, conduct these experiments. It's going to take a lot of... Uh, energy to get this done. So um, at this point, Eva has a talk with, um, you know, Mr. Russell, who we were introduced to in the last scene, and uh, he offers to take care of her if something happens to her husband, which is a, a somewhat significant plot detail. So at this point, we're introduced to another man, uh, Mr. Sawyer, and he's talking with Mrs. Palmer. She was the uh, psychic lady from the beginning. It turns out this was all part of a plan to try and get Mr. Hartley to buy land or something. I think it was. It's not really that important. And, important. and they basically have a disagreement over what she's owed out of this whole deal. She uh, basically gives Sawyer a warning at this point that things may not work out for him. But not a lot ever comes of this, so I'm not sure where they were going with this scene. <laughs> but um, it's interesting enough. So at this point, um, Sawyer goes to see the professor and basically pushes his weight around, says he's in charge of everything. The professor answers to him. This Sawyer guy is not the nicest character around. So at this point, we get to see some test runs, you know, to see if these uh, experiments and other dimensions will work. And they're okay. There's quite a few of them. One of them actually fails, which I kind of thought was uh, interesting. I'm glad everything didn't just run smoothly. It made it feel more realistic. But eventually the professor decides to go on with these tests, and they seem to figure out the problem. So uh, he's ready to try this for himself now. So at this point, the professor and Eva have a discussion. She's concerned about what will happen to her husband. You can tell she's really upset about this whole situation. She's afraid. But he reassures her and tells her that the risk is worth it, and then he has to go through with this because it could be a great discovery, basically. And... Um, you know, this was a decent enough scene, probably one of the better ones in the episode. So, at this point, Mrs. Palmer and her assistant, who have kind of been hiding, watching everything that's going on, have this plan to sabotage the experiment. This guy's name, her assistant, Mr. Uh, Price, I think his name is, he decides if he cuts a little bit of the power, this will mess things up, and maybe Mrs. Palmer can get Mr. Hartley back as a client. This was a uh, okay subplot, I guess. It should be noted that Mrs. Palmer is very reluctant to do this and doesn't think it's a good idea, but Mr. Stone wants to go through with it anyway. We also, at this point, learn what happened to Hartley's son, um, which is a tragic story and adds some depth to Hartley's character. Again, I thought it was fine. So we're finally ready for uh, the professor to cross over into other dimensions. Um, as we're getting close to the climax of the episode now. So this eventually happens, and we get very interesting scene with some very strange special effects. This whole scene um, 
of the professor trying to cross over into another dimension was kind of odd. Um, I thought it was somewhat effective, but I did think it was drawn out a bit as well. So eventually Price sabotages things by cutting some of the power. I think he gets a jolt too, but uh, this was a little confusing. But anyway, this causes the professor to be able to see another dimension, but he says he can't enter it. Like I said, this scene's a little long, a little padded, but um, it's okay. It's interesting enough. So eventually what happens is the professor is pulled out. Um, Looks like his hand is back to normal as well. And Hartley decides because the professor couldn't cross over that he's going to basically um, go into this machine or whatever and look for his son as uh, he tries to cross over to another dimension. And that's pretty much it. We don't really know if Hartley um, is successful or not or what happens to him at all. Um, who knows? But like I said, an interesting episode in point, in point. Uh, somewhat thought-provoking, but it never really hit a level of high intensity for me that I think the episode was going for. It was interesting, um, like I said, but it was never that exciting or um, totally compelling. And the episode's a little padded in places, too. So overall, The Borderland is just an average watchable episode, in my opinion. Like I said, there's nothing really great or terrible about it, in my opinion. And I'm going to give The Borderland a 2.5 out of 5. Fans of the series might want to check this one out as a one-time watch. Others can pass. It's not an essential episode in my opinion. So two and a half out of five for The Borderland. And as always, thank you very much for watching.